Good day everyone, welcome to a new video of Crypto Michael. And today we are not going to discuss the Twitter hack as it's irrelevant for the price. We are going to discuss Zilliqa and we're going to discuss Elrond and perhaps even another IEO. Next to that, if you like the video and you want to stay tuned, please subscribe to the channel or like beneath the video. As you know, if you show some engagement that's working really well for my ranking on YouTube and that's why we can grow the community in a faster pace and make it larger so more people can see the videos. So, Silica has had the momentum earlier in the month, actually in June. And we saw that they were rallying, rallying significantly fast. They got social media engagement, which essentially is right now faced around Elrond and some other coins. And that's essentially also what alt season or altcoin movements mean. Usually they retrace and correct a very long period. And when they start to move, they move within a few weeks and then the move is over for a little while. And what we see here is, and I think uh, it's better to zoom out for a little while, it's essentially the same. Very long accumulation range, heavy breakout towards the next range low, and now we are just consolidating before we continue to move. And in general, people are expecting or anticipating that once something moves up, the volatility and the movement stay the same but that's not the case if you are comparing the chart towards <coughs> AV which is still going ballistic you can see that the first move the exact same movement occurred in which very fast pace up correction and then continuation Land is a little bit different as it has a pump and dumpy structure but even Kyber is showing it that you have a nice breakout of the range then consolidation for months and then the breakout towards the next wave and then we consolidate for months again so in the case of silica and in this case i'll just erase the previous star charts we can see the exact same occurrence in which we had a nice heavy impulse wave up bounced down towards the first support level and now we rejected a resistance zone and seems to be likely that we're going to go further down and yes I stated that it was likely for a move towards 265 but in that case we should have broken the 230 or 225 to 230 level and we should have held this support zone so first we're going to discuss the larger time frame and then we're going to discuss the smaller time frame to see if we have some opportunities to day trade so larger time frame we can see that we have a weak bounce and now we are going to see okay so we've had a bounce and we have rejected the previous support we are most likely going to test the support again or what is the next level of support after that confluent with these 100 day and 200 day MAs so why have we rejected previous support well this is resistance it flipped for support and we have rejected here for resistance again which most likely means that we're going to uh, test the low for support again and then we are going to test whether we can find support in this OB which is between 182 and 190 or whether we can find support at the exact same level as we did previously which is at 174 and we are already correcting right now as we can see so these are two zones that we are watching but if we get a weak move and we get some further corrective movements, the next level I'll be watching is the area around 150 sets. I do not believe we're going further down. Essentially given that we have retested the previous level at 94 and broke out of the range already, we might go to 116, but that seems less likely. But this case is quite uh, likely to see occur in which we're going towards the 150 set zone consolidate for a little while and get a same figure as Kyber in which you just consolidate consolidate before we start to accelerate again so in the same case as Silica oh I just get the wrong one 
we get consolidation consolidation then reclaim of the 176 zone and then we start to grind up again and then we have the uptrend and the next wave going and the next wave most likely takes us towards 500 sets but it takes time so what are the levels on higher time frame to watch well we rejected the range high so we're looking for the support zones between 182 and 190 sets most likely range low between 167 to 175 if we lose this low then we are going to look for lo longs around 127 to 147 then we've got the zoomed in view which i've stated that we have rejected the resistance again lost support started to fall further down and now we have got uh, the level around 187 to test which is the same as this zone so now we are going to see whether we are already dropping towards this range support or whether we can have a bounce and rejection then find support confirmation and maybe can get this move then so when, what are you looking for then well probably rejection here which could mean a short opportunity clear invalidation if we break above and flip it support if we hold in this zone make a higher low afterwards to confirm the support then we break the downtrend and you get an opportunity to take the long with a stop and target this high again if we reject here already then you know that you should be out but this is a likely scenario on a smaller time frames essentially given that we are already dropping heavily on the rsi as well do we lose this level well then we have the exact same figures which is this low around 180 167 which has been tested once and then the same figure goes around this structure you want to see do we lose 167 then we go towards the untested level around 144 143 and then you apply the exact same strategy so in this case i would have had a long in the red zone and would have been stopped out and i'm not immediately getting into a new trade because you want to apply the rules you have for yourself and you're not going to long in between levels you're going to long for a strategy and for a plan because the market is doing what it, it's what it's doing and you are the only one going to make profitable trades or strategies the market won't do that for you so then we have got another one which is essentially taking the spot of uh, Zilliqa recently which is Elrond and here I've got a smaller time frame chart in which we flipped the 135 level continue to rally flip the 150 level continue to rally and in this case if you essentially uh, excuse me where are you there you are use the Fibonacci extension you would have had a TP here already and would have nicely hit it for a 26% move well how do you measure the Fibonacci level previous high previous low and there you can get the 1618 level if we uh, continue then 211 is also a target zone but based on this um, there's a few things that I want to discuss on smaller time frames this is your previous high if we lose the previous high we likely drop towards this area here around 166 to 170 if we reject the previous high we seem to be likely going to test the support again and then we're going to drop towards 150 and then if we drop that far we still have the divergence being applied but i don't uh, it's only valid if we lose the previous high so if we get this structure going then the daily will also drop towards this zone and then we most likely reject the 170 level which we have been pointing out here so then you get this and if we do reject the previous high we get a confirmation of this diff and then we are ready for a further ex uh, uh, corrective move um, and then i'm going to look at one of these ranges for potential swing trade staking whatever uh, but smaller time frame the levels that you want to watch and that it should not be losing is if you even have a scalp trade going on Elrond you don't want to lose this level around 178 if we lose this previous high we should basically hold 166 to 163 as support and break back above if we get a lower high here and then lose this support as well I think it's going to time be time for some corrective moves and 
I see some hype around the mainnet as well. And usually with these events is that a week or two before the actual event, the peak high takes place and then it starts to correct as the hype is slowly draining away, which is comparable with Silica as it had many stuff fundamentally going around and then it started to hype the hype going away towards Elrond or to other projects and then it starts to correct for a longer time frame. Is there also a bullish case? Yeah, obviously we just discussed it. If uh, Elrond remains support at 176 or this 164 level, we could have ha have another level uh, rally towards 209. Which coins are also doing really well? Well, Fetch is doing really well, as you can see. It's starting up and it's uh, actually at the beginning of a cycle. Uh, we know that we have been discussing Sealer and it's still following the plan that we wanted it to be following. It's above the 100 day and 200 day MA for the first time since listing. Um, so in this case, you don't want to see it lose this block around here as that's around the previous high. If you hold that level, the exact same play you want to make here, um, in which we drop, reclaim uh, 48, and then the next target is 71 sets. Overall, pretty decent market environment. Bitcoin is a little bit shaky, but overall everything is okay. And if you like this video, please like beneath or subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you tomorrow with a new video.